Welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this one we're using Blender 2.79 and what we're going to be doing is making your background plates a lot more interesting and dynamic. If you're using stills you need to get a bit more life into them. In this particular case here in my movie clip editor this is a background that I have. It actually happens to be animated. Uh, it's a piece of footage. But if I was using just a still, still piece of footage there. It would work, but it would seem fairly dead. Now one way to get more life into it is to move your vegetation slightly, or clouds and things, and in this particular case here we've got a flock of birds flying over. So it would be nice to be able to use that those birds to put more animation into the background. My next one is that I I wanted to use that shot, the background plate with the uh, that sunset the background of here, but it had to match the sunset of this background, which is a still. There's not much moving in that background, so it works, but I then had to try and match the background. So I've taken clouds from the first one and put them on top of the second one. Now that's a whole tutorial itself, but I've replaced that sky there. But because it's a replacement, it's on top of the birds, and you can't see the birds now. So I want to take those birds and put them back on top of there. And that's just a case of tracking them. Now I've uh, gone back to my main plate that I had from the start and each of the birds I'm tracking them. This is my whole flock here. Then in my uh, compositor I'm going to put all those birds back on. Now let's do a bird for example. Here's one here. Let's scroll in a little bit. I want to, uh, when I'm in the tracking mode here, I can track that by just doing add. Here is an easy way. There are shortcuts, but never mind. It's all with tracking. Then I'm going to use my Alt and my arrow key to advance, because if I just go over here and click the forward button, these points, because of the darkness and size of them, they're not tracking very well, and I want to make sure that we're exactly on. They jitter about all over the place, so instead of using this button all of the time, I am now lost. Click on here to reactivate that. Shift it here. You can shift in here or on the screen here. Just grab that point. And a quicker way is the Alt arrow key is a lot quicker. Sometimes it will track quite fine, and other times it will lose it quite rapidly. Just drag the screen across. And you can see it's lost again. Now the advantage of putting these little birds, they're only spots, but the thing is that the spots come and go in intensity as the birds flap their wings. So these are spots that are dynamic spots. Now it's worthwhile doing and adding this to your library because you can take these spots and you can overlay them onto other still pieces of footage or still photos or moving footage. And we just lost again. Right, we're going to track right across the screen until they disappear off the edge of the screen. I'll get back to you when I got get through that. So I've tracked that until it's right off the screen. I'm going to go back to the beginning to where it started. Now that I have my track, that bird tracked all the way through there, right, next thing to do is to down here in your mask mode, go to your mask mode in one. I want to add a mask. Add, and I'm going to call it 11. I think this is my 11th bird. Zoom in with the scroll until I have my bird. Then control left click. I'm going to add some points, and I'm just going to make an oval. Alt C to close that shape the letter A to deselect and then select again then the set, the handle type, I just want it single aligned so that I've got these handles so I'm going to give curvature to the mask and then holding the shift key down I'm going to drag that point out to give me some feathering now I'm going to go A to deselect, A again to select then control P, the letter P or you can go up here and go parent. 
and down here in the active point here you can see that it has given the uh, assigned it to this track point here which is number 10 and that camera and also of this particular video hopefully when we step forward with the arrow buttons it will now follow you can animate those by turning on the uh, animate button down here and change it like this and it will generate keys keyframes if you drag this window down select the dope sheet and go to the mask you'll see the keyframes that will be generated as it readjusts as you animate your spot depending on its size and shape if you want to be that particular I'm not going to be particular I'm just going to leave it like that okay we have our spot on our bird let's go to our node editor up to the node editor and I have a setup here which looks complicated but it's not very first off we have the main movie clip here which we find from the list down here of the original where the birds are flying then we have a movie clip here with the amended sky the added sky we also have a color balance node here to adjust the color of those birds because they're sort of an orange color in this but I want them to be bluey or pinky in this one here also you can adjust the darkness of them using these sliders so if you use it in another project you can adjust the birds colors to balance with the scene that, that you're going to place them in then we have a mix node with those two with the background on the bottom and the birds to go on the top and then into the compositor where it's going to render out here is a window that has got a UV map editor to give me the final output and of course the viewer for this screen now in the factor button where all the masks go this is where it gets it, it looks complicated but it's actually very systematic and easy I have a scale node just to make sure it's going into the you don't need that if your scale is right I think it's all fine and dandy yes that one is redundant now then we have going into this first value uh, first we have a maths node you can get that down and add converter math it's a math node I'll just delete that since I've already got one and I'm going to select add because I'm going to get a mask node by add input mask right here select say the first of my masks which I have already have here then plug it in to one of those then let's add the other one in and then that's really all you've got add and those ones here and they just keep adding on in at the end of the chain you can add as many as you like so what I'm going to do is just go select the add node and I can go shift D to duplicate it and put it into the line and that gives me another opportunity to add another one into there so I'll put this down to be tidy take that mask node and go shift D to duplicate it also select the last one which is going to be the 11 number 11 that we just made in the movie clip editor plug that in and it will now add it there and add the bird I think it's that one into the scene then go back and just keep adding here we've got 11 birds so far I think there's another three to do so let's go back clip editor select the next bird which is likely to be that one there and start the tracking make your node and add it into that line there now the good thing with this is that if I want to use this in another scene I can take this one and instead of the picture I'm going to add it to here it is white we can green screen it or choose any color but to, if you open up the mixer you know, this bottom background take the red channel and zero it take the blue channel and zero it and you've got a perfect green now if they were green you would make some different color maybe blue or others but since they fly in the sky I wouldn't recommend blue and maybe red might work also because it's totally contrary against those birds here then render out that sequence of those birds so that you can then uh, chroma key them onto still shots 
For example, if we were to add an input of a an image, we could then go search for an image, a background image with a similar sort of background. We'll see whether this one does or not. A similar sort of perspective. And yes, there we do. So now we've got some birds that are going to fly across the screen here and render here. It's a fairly big panorama, so here's the final output generating. And there it is. And the birds will be on top of this panorama. And if we have some moving footage here and to see birds fly across the sky, it gives the impression that this is actually live footage rather than a photo. We could also change the colouring by using the color, a colour balance node. Um, in your other project you would just use as here your image and then the, the keyed birds here feed them through a colour node so that you can change their colour and their intensities of colour so that you can change them to fit in with the scene that you are working on. And then you can save off that chroma key thing to your library of effects and use them on other occasions. Save yourself some time. So there we are. So there we are. Putting birds flying across your screen on still shots to give it more of an impression of movement and giving it the impression of it being real footage.